Hello everyone, my name is George Slatkovsky and today we're looking at a new update for GS Groove Tools version 1.3.3. So this is a bit of a technical update, but it still deserves its own video because uh, the changes in this update affect everyone and you might need to know about them. So let's get started. So as always, I will remind you that I recommend to finish your current project before updating because uh, there are no like breaking changes, but still it is best to finish your current project and then update and test everything on a fresh project. So the main focus of this update is eliminating the distortion of geometry on very small scales. So if you used uh, warp cards before and you scaled your curve to be very very small to for example create brows or eyelashes or something on, or even very small details uh, you might have, have noticed that there is a weird distortion and it is caused by Maya not having enough precision on those small scales to actually calculate the deformation of the, of the geometry. But in this update, I think I fixed uh, this issue completely. Uh, so let me explain what changed. So let's just create a very small card just to demonstrate. I will place it over here for you to see the ranges of scale I'm talking about. Let's make it very, very, very thin, like 0.01, as you can see. And let's scale it down. Yeah, I am using just a regular scale over here. And as you can see, the, this card, let me just enable the geometry highlight. As you can see, this card is very, very, very small. And on those scales, I will exaggerate this precision scale to some value that um, will actually cause deformation and I will normalize select and as you can see that's even too much let me just go to 10 as you can see I already see uh, the deformation over here and this is very very bad look at this it's twisted it's it twists in it's like just behaves weirdly so that was uh, what was before of course uh, 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 so this scale of 10 is a bit uh, of an exaggeration but you still had some of this deformation before and now if we go ahead and for example select this and normalize to default you will see that it's now let me just even increase the divisions just for you to see you will see that the deformation is much much better now and you can actually work on those very small scales and everything is fine as you can see so i will explain this window a little bit later you already know scale factor probably so what changed a lot of internal stuff changed for the curve but uh, that's not uh, really uh, visible for the user uh, the main thing that you need to be concerned about is this scale factor and precision window and you can just go and access it from options uh, change scale factor and precision and mainly you will see that the scale factor the, the default scale factor is now 0 0.5 so uh, i recommend you using this scale factor when you start a new project so don't change it at all and precision scale is a new value that is actually affecting all of the new curves as well and it's now 0 0.05 so this is a i would say optimal value for uh, the big and small curves you can go very small on uh, the scale without any problems from maya so uh, you can of course change it uh, this uh, value to whatever you want you can even type it over here but as i said before i recommend you not to touch those values as uh, at all they are basically debug values what is important for you if you open the old project or you just want to uh, continue your current project and you want to use these new new values and new features you can open this window select all of your curves i will just demonstrate it over here select all of your curves just like that and click normalize selected to default it will automatically set these values for you the default the recommended value values and change every curve uh, to those values i will just disable the highlight just to demonstrate to you that uh, it's basically it will it should not change your geometry at all let me just click on this and you will see that scale has changed and almost nothing has changed on the course they uh, there can be a little bit like a movement of geometry just a little bit as it renormalizes everything but uh, it should not change the overall shapes and uh, like rotations and stuff of your geometry uh, 
so it is safe to normalize your current project. Of course, just make a backup before you do this, but this will allow you to work with the new values, with the new scales and avoid this annoying deformation. Now, of course, if you're a power user and you wish to play with these values a little bit, uh, if you work on a very large scale, you don't need this precision scale to be so low or something like that, you can change whatever value you want. You can select the curves and then click on the second button, normalize, select it. So this will revert to the recommended defaults and this one will just uh, set this uh, take this these values and set them to the curves that you selected so uh, use this new precision scale to update your old projects or just start a new project and you don't even need to worry about this window at all it will be set automatically for you now there are some other changes in this update uh, that are connected to this new precision scale and first thing is fill add cart and add tubes are now independent from scale factor or scale of the curve or anything basically and uh, before if you scaled one of the cur uh, curve like that on the world scale you would have a uh, issue with widths when you used fill add cart or add tube this was completely fixed in this this update because it will just renormalize everything before um, using well, one of those functions and if i go and click fill you will see that as you can see even though i scale this curve in world space it still generated the new um, cards in between correctly with the correct width and everything is fine the same goes for the add card uh, function over here you'll just select uh, those cards add cards and you'll see that even though this curve was, was scaled in world scale it's no longer relevant to add card add tube it will normalize everything automatically now if you're interested how this works uh, every time you use a relevant function it will just uh, renormalize the scale it will change it to 0 0.05 and adjust the width of the card and uh, profile of the card and basically all of the parameters that are um, connected to the scale they will be adjusted so you will not see uh, the difference but everything will be with the same scale and the same scale factor so uh, when you import something from other project that had a different scale factor for example you uh, uh, created a braid and it had a scale factor of z of one because uh, your project used uh, the scale factor of one because it was optimal for the size right um, you imported it in you pro into a new project you go over here to scale factor and you just click on normalize selected to default just like that and nothing will change uh, geometry wise but it will normalize everything and every function will work just fine like that so the precision scale is basically the world scale of the curve so when you change the this scale over here you'll see that this this scale changes and if i go ahead and uh, change scale factor precision and normalize selected you'll see that this scale changes as well so you are free to scale the curve like that if you want but uh, just know that this scale will be renormalized every time you use relevant function now another benefit of this new scale factor is that the build curve will now work correctly on very very small scales so if you have for example a very small card let me just uh, and here we go we have a very small uh, card over here and I will just change the scale factor to uh, one like like it was before right and as you can see we immediately see the deformation uh, that I've talked about this one uh, and the other huge problem that was present before is that the rebuilt curve uh, behaved erratically in the on those small curves and as you can see when I try to rebuild those small curves uh, it's deformed already but if I even do this like that it will just basically break uh, but with this new scale factor we'll just go over here and normalize it save close and as you can see now it's perfectly fine you can just rebuild it with no problem to any value you want and no deformation at least no visible deformation is happening over here and you can work uh, on this curve just to remind you that this is a very 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 small curve and it will be basically uh one hair strand thick like just like that you see 
So it's very small and you, st and you can work on those small scales uh, after this update and this normalization thing. So just to recap, if you are starting the new project, these values will be baked in automatically. You don't need to change anything. Just work as you would work before. If you are opening the old project, you just open this scale factor and precision. You select all of your curves that you want to normalize and you click this normalize, select it to default. Or if you want to change these value, values manually, you can use normalize selected, but I don't recommend it. I think those are pretty good default. And that's it. You click save or save and close and forget about it. So theoretically, it should not be an issue anymore. Now, the last change in this update is the deprecation of um, smooth slider over here. So bef before, um, under this refine slider over here, if you just create a, uh, un unclick the auto mode, there was a smooth slider. Unfortunately, it caused a lot of issues with uh, these new uh, curves that I'm using right now in this update. So I had to disable it. So there will be no slider over here anymore for smooth. Uh, but uh, if you had auto refine enabled, it was, it was this slider was disabled anyway. So that's not a big loss in my book. Now, at least you will not have any deformations when working on the smaller curves like that. And yes, yeah, so this is the update, uh, just a small change over here, but I think it's, it will have a huge impact on uh, usability of this um, tool on very small scales like that. Mm, I hope you will enjoy it. I, I tried to make this update as smooth as possible with this new normalized stuff so you can actually convert your old projects uh, without any issues and uh, just continue working on them if you want. And yeah, so thank you for watching. See you next time.